Hello friends. In today's video, I'm going to talk about a DAX function called product X. This function very rarely used. Yeah, again, it all depends on the need, uh, what you're trying to achieve, but it is a very powerful uh, function. There was a question posted on Power BI community forum a few weeks ago where a user wanted to calculate the future revenue. There was a revenue per month, let's say up to December 2021, and then user wanted to project the revenue or forecast the revenue based on a certain growth percentage. Let's say they want to see, okay, the revenue grow 10% every month. What would the what would future forecast revenue will look like per month? In this video, I will go through how I solved it and how product X is being used to calculate the future revenue. Let's get to Power BI. Look at the simple data we have to work with and then build a solution step by step. Okay, so here we have a matrix visual uh, with two tables we have in our model calendar and revenue. And uh, calendar is of course filtering our revenue table. And we have a measure called revenue, which is just a simple sum of uh, revenue. So this is what I'm seeing here. Now, the ask here is our last revenue is in November 2021 and we want to grow it by future revenue, projected revenue, we want to calculate 30% going forward depending on what we have selected in our uh, uh, slicer here. So basically in December we, sh we should show 30% of last revenue which is 1.8 million, 30% of that uh, added to the last revenue whatever that uh, comes out and then January get calculated on top of uh, December 2011, uh, 2021 revenue and February 22 revenue get calculated on January uh, revenue. Um, so first thing what we need to do is uh, we need to um, get our last revenue on which we want to calculate the growth, right? So let's write a measure for that. So based on what has been selected, what we can do is new measure, which will return us the most recent revenue, what that revenue value is, because that's the revenue we'll take and apply the growth rate on that revenue. To get the last revenue, we will create a measure. Latest revenue is equal to calculate last known blank value over month and the value we need is revenue and we need to remove any filter coming on calendar month because we want it to see the latest revenue in all the months so that we can calculate the future projected revenue so that will be calendar month and now, if we put this, make it zero, no decimal places. And if we put this revenue in our visual, we will see 1.84 million in all the months. So that is in November, our latest revenue is the last revenue. And that is the value of the revenue. And we are seeing in all the months, even in the future months, because we we uh, remove the filter on calendar month. Okay, so that's the first thing. Now I have a growth percentage. I put like a five percent growth, um, or like I, and that's what I want to calculate. And now let's write a first. The thing we want to calculate is to get what the compound growth rate would look like. It's not like 5% every month. It's a compound 
calculation. So that's where the product X will come in the picture. So let's calculate a what would be the compound growth rate for each month. Let's call it compound growth rate percentage per month. To do so, what we need to do is um, first we need to get the when the most recent revenue is because we have selected like 21, 22, but what is the last month when the revenue is visible last month? So that easily we can get using again last known blank in this case and we want calendar date and we want it based on revenue and we remove filters on our calendar month so let's see what we get in this case if we return this variable and put it in here we should get the when the last revenue happened a month so as you see we are getting a November is when the last revenue is compound growth rate. I'm just the name because we're going to calculate the percentage, but that's when the November is the last revenue. And this was the last revenue amount. And this is the last revenue date. Okay. So it means why we need this date because from here onward, we want to calculate the compound uh, interest, uh, interest, right? So that's the first step. Let's go to the next step. So the next step is, we want to calculate, let's make, because it's a, it, 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 because we are calculating it monthly, right? and this, the last revenue date, because we are getting the date, it could be a middle of the month. So we will convert it into end of the month. So let's convert into end of um, month. Again, this is the need base. You, you might have a, a different logic, but I'm working based on that we are calculating based on the, uh, end of the month or the full month so we will because we got the visible last month it is like a November 1st but we want to take it to the end of the month so um, let's call it end of month keep it like that and then we will do visible last month date zero is like within that month so this will give us end of the month now here we will have our product X come in the picture. What we're going to do is uh, we're going to get, okay, what is my compound uh, uh, rate, growth rate. So we will use product X. So we want to iterate over the each month. And we want to check now um, on what, what is our current in row context, where we are, what is the current date. So let's store the date in a variable. So that will be make it a little bit smaller. So so basically when when I am in, in um, if we just make it smaller and collapse it, so this particular current row date will return. If I'm in a November, it will return me the last date of the uh, November. If I'm in January, it will return me the last date of January 2022. So that's what uh, this uh, variable is doing, current row date. And then here we, we can check because we want to calculate our compound again based on the last after the last revenue happened and uh, what we want to do here is if our current row date is greater than visible last month then 
then calculate the um, growth percentage so that's so one plus growth percentage will give us the compound i will show in an excel uh, what this will return but we we can check it here as well so let's uh, go to uh, return this compound growth rate so what we're getting is it's uh, five percent every month one plus five that's not what we're looking for we want first month is five percent and the compound is five percent of the previous uh, month and then the on in 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 february uh, the compound of uh, january so this is not working and what i need to do here is we have to pass the filter where uh, what we need to store here is where we are in current row what is our current um, date that will be simply max of calendar date So this will be uh, current date. So let's see what we, we have the value now. Okay, so here it is. So we have a first month 1.05. That's a growth is going to happen. Then 1.10, 1.16. So this is now compound rate. It is not one. So it's it's this is how it is calculating. So per month, so product X is now calculating our compound uh, rate but I think here we want it to be start on December not in November because November we already have a revenue uh, we have to use end of month uh, instead of visible last month uh, so end of month is give us the last uh, date of the month when the revenue last revenue happened if we look now so we are getting um, should be greater than equal to greater than so now our compound growth rate start starts from December 2021 and going onward so um, depend on number of whatever is selected on the slicer so that's the first part so now we got our the rate uh, got our rate so what we need to do is now calculate the revenue so we have the last revenue with latest revenue or last revenue and uh, now we just need to multiply uh, latest revenue with the compound growth rate and that will give us the a um, future revenue so let's do that So we can call them a year projected or forecast whatever revenue is equal to sum x so we trade over month and then multiply our latest revenue with our compound growth rate percentage okay so let's put this in so this is now 1.84 for million 1.8 million now we get like 1.9 and so forth so on so now we have let's remove uh, latest revenue compound growth rate from our visual and now we have a revenue and projected revenue and we can visualize this and we can extend this uh, actually uh, we can co create another measure we can call it current and projected revenue so we iterate over our calendar month and then we can 
we can make it in one single measure we say okay if revenue is blank then use projected revenue So that is that. So make it no decimal places. So now what we have is wherever there is a revenue, current revenue, we are seeing that. And when there is no current revenue, uh, we are seeing as an M project revenue. So this is what it looks like. At now one more thing we can, we can do here is, um, which actually I so I have a projector revenue and revenue uh, what we see so we can also what I did is I have a growth percentage as a a, a what if um, parameter I have a, a growth percentage 30% or you, we can change that instead of in our um, compound growth rate instead of using the uh, fixed value of growth percentage which I stored as a 5% uh, fixed value I can instead use the growth percentage value from my what if analysis um, parameter what if parameter and um, now this revenue the projected revenue we can it will change uh, as we um, as we make the changes to our uh, so for example on December 2021 it is showing 2.1 million so if I it's at the 15 percent right now if I make it 50 percent so this goes to uh, 2.7 million and if I go 90 percent so this is what it looked like. So now we can have more dynamic way of calculating the projected revenue based on the what if um, parameter. As you saw in this video, product X is a very powerful DAX function. We used uh, product X to calculate future projected revenue, future revenue based growth based on the most recent revenue so we had a revenue in this november and then we have like with what if parameter whatever percentage we want to use to see per per month compound growth it's based on the compound growth rate so we use product x to calculate our revenue let me know what you guys think um, any feedback or comments are very welcome do subscribe uh, my youtube channel where i will be posting more uh, videos like this and some interesting topics and until next video have a good day bye for now